Staffing shortages at hospitals creating extra work and stress for the nurses, technicians and doctors. WRTV's Caitlin Kendall shows us how two hospitals are getting some relief from a robot. Hello, your delivery has arrived. Through the halls of IU Health North in Carmel. IUD2, the delivery robot, is getting to work. Our robot is waiting outside your door for you to pick it up. Can you believe that we're talking about robots? No, it's kind of fascinating, so. <laughs> but this bot is more than just a fascination. It's working to combat a critical health care worker shortage. It's all part of a pilot program here and at IU Health tipped in. Somebody said, oh, we just need a robot. And I was kind of an aha moment and said, oh my gosh, I've seen these delivery robots before. The idea became reality. The robots work to relieve nurses and pharmacy techs by picking up and delivering things like labs or medications. Having to leave and go run something somewhere is a huge interruption. The pharmacist or the technicians or whoever's in the lab, whoever has access to the robot, um, also has access to this portal. The portal works as the brains behind the bot. Destinations are selected, telling it where to go. Virtual mapping allows it to take the path, electronically call the elevator, and even move out of the way of people. Don't worry, it's not going to charge fast down the hallway. It only travels a third of the speed of humans. Plus, it doesn't interact with patients. Rather than replacing the jobs of people who work here, it's working to assist them. The goal? is for hospital staff to focus on other essentials and patient care. Being able to work to your top of your license and do what you were trained to do, not just be walking something somewhere, allows you to do that and really connects you back to your purpose. In car. Caitlin Kendall, WRTV. Wow, the future is here. The droids, the robots are on a pilot program for a little longer. The hospital system will evaluate how they performed and decide if they'll keep the robots full time.